Shit. Shit, man. Dorsey scum! How does it feel now? Dorsey scum! Bastards! Hey, look at these guys. They're all... How does it feel now? How does it feel now? Your souls, Colorado. I hope you die slow. Murderers! This kid's going in the pillories next. Sorry, I, I didn't. I, I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got a lot, a, a lot on my mind. Made a real big mistake. See. The Plains gangs chased my mom and me off our land. We lost everything. Heard this was a place of God-fearing people and thought they'd do right by us. <laughs> people here kept us out in the cold, letting us starve to death while they sat inside, warm and fed. Then the Dorseys came and gave me some food, and some kindness, and asked me to do some vandalism. I figured what was the harm. I never killed no one, but I did bust some windows. Marshals caught me doing it. And they said I was working with the Dorseys. Magistrate agreed. So, here I am. Mom would have talked me out of it. I should have talked to her first. We were starving. No two ways about it. We were going to die. Dorseys gave us food. I figured a few windows was a worthwhile trade for the bread and meat that saved our lives. I thought it was too harsh, but what happens if I speak up now? Will they come after my mom? I, I can't take the chance. The magistrate's a hard man. I wish I could believe it'd work. I'd do anything for someone who could get me free without hurting anybody in the process. Guess I don't have any money to give you, but I I'd pay you back in hard work, if you'll have me. I'm used to hard work around the homestead. And I ain't too bad with a gun, either. My folks made sure I could hunt and fight. I always dreamed of coming to the big city and being a newspaper man. You know, interviewing people, telling the truth about how things really are. Sure didn't turn out like I hoped. No, I was never no desperado. Don't rightly know why I let myself get caught up in this. But if I'm to die... I'd at least like to do that right. I'm gonna do that like a man. Magistrate tells me it's death. They're gonna strip me down and tie me to those things. And they're gonna let the cold do its work. I wonder if it'll hurt. Wish I could tell you it won't, kid. But that'd be a lie. Okay. Nice talking to you. I hope sure. you die slow! Bastards! How does it feel now? Alright. See if we can uh, free the kid. Howdy, Judge. How's your heart? Still colder than a well digger's ass? Marshal Kwan. Impertinent as ever, I see. Rangers, I am Magistrate Silas Watkins. I have heard of your arrival. Partly from the confessions of the Dorsey Raiders, 
You'll be pleased to know that I sentenced them to death for their part in the attack on the city and your convoy. That is actually pretty awesome. His crimes are still severe. He was part of the Dorsey Uprising. He caused significant property damage. His actions diverted marshals from responding to reports of attacks, magnifying the harm the Dorseys were able to inflict. Argue a case, and I might show lenience. You wish to compensate the city and the owners of the damaged properties for their losses. I can facilitate that. That's the price in Colorado dollars. Sure. This is irregular, but it is within my powers to grant you full custody of Austin Peace. Any further infractions he may commit are the Ranger's responsibility. I would recommend keeping him out of trouble. You should inform the boy. Best he hears the good news from you. Dorsey scum! All right, guys. Dorsey scum! Let's see. I hope you die slow! Still here. Now looking forward to what comes next. What? Are you serious? Y you really saved my life and, and I get to be a ranger? Uh, you, you get to work with, for us. Uh, you're not a ranger, kid. Soon as they let me free, I'm going straight to your headquarters. I'll do whatever you need me to do. Clean guns, scrub toilets, you name it. Thank you. Th thank you. Thank you. Bastards! Thanks, Rangers. Can't Bastards! wait to get out of here. <laughs> All right. Cool. How does it feel now? Rangers, what brings you here? They are the only instrument of justice we need. Serious offenders die by exposure. Sometimes I might grant a reprieve after... Frostbiters claim their extremities. For some offenses, we have a work camp on the plains. I don't approve of their methods, but it's outside my jurisdiction. Minor infractions, like public drunkenness or disorderly conduct, are punished by a short stay in the sheriff's lockup. Oh, to the contrary. It is more merciful than the punishments meted out by the mountain clans or the gangs of the plains. If we did any less, they would see our nation as weak. And in Colorado, weakness is death. As much as we might long for the world before the bombs, when justice was not so cruel, that is not the world we inhabit. I kinda can't argue with his logic. And let's be honest, Judge. You kind of like it, too, don't you? No, I do not. I only do what the law commands. Ah, I think he kind of likes it. And since you're the law around here, I guess you're your own boss. I follow principles set forth at the second founding of this city, as you know very well. Without our laws and the penalties to enforce them, we're no better than the Wastelanders.
Proceed. Okay. Indeed. Murderers! I hope you die slow! I hope you die slow! How can you be dead? Murderers! It's not fair! Dorsey's gonna die for what they done. How can you be dead? You rangers are Stop heroes. Oh. I'm gonna tell everyone what you did for my son. It's not Thank fair. You. Thank you. Sure. You wanna How pet can our you cat? Be dead? We ain't gonna beg for our lives. How does we it feel now? Weak like you. Shut up and die quiet. I mean you both, buddy. I hope you die slow. Oh my god, they do. Mom. Mom? Oh, I sorry. Never mind. What why? What do you want? I don't know. We were heading to Colorado Springs with a lot of other folks when we, we, uh, I hurried here as quick as I could after, but I ain't found her anywhere. I keep hoping. <laughs> no, please, I just need you to go away, please. There, there was this smiling lady. She said she had some food and I could take some back to my mom if I came with her. And she was gonna sell me. She put me in a cage. One of her men took me out of the cage to, to, I kicked them as hard as I could and ran. They didn't find me in the dark. And then I saw some refugees and stayed with them till I got here. Uh, bye. Oh, okay. Doc Parker's helping the wounded at the Arapaho garage. He ain't turning in. No trespassing, eh? <laughs> Seems like I find places to trespass. I have explosive barrels just laying around. Exactly. Bastards! No mercy <laughs> on your souls, Colorado. Bastards! Okay. Murderers! Death to Buchanan! Death to the <sighs> hundred stinking families! <clears throat> Let's talk to this filthy drunk. Uh, somebody's sure having a hell of a party, huh? <laughs> All that screaming and fireworks? Yeah, yeah, fireworks, pal, fireworks. gonna let me open it and go the in. Deluge of blood is coming for you all. Cool. Hey, check out that dildo next to that cross. Neelius Dorsey lives. Look at He'll that. kill y'all. Ah, uh, yes. Ooh. Uh, 
gonna take those. Dude, so much cool stuff. We should build some more watchtowers around the garden. Dorsey slipped right past the ones we've got. Yeah, but we don't need to pull some resources from another district to do it. Huh. Sheriff won't like that. How's your family? My mom and pa are safe. Still haven't heard from my sister. She was working near the museum when the attack started. Jesus! Fucking Dorsey's? I'm... I'm sure she's okay. Yeah. Seeing what I can see. Ah, Marshals! Finally! I was beginning to think you were never going to help. Hold on now. You aren't Marshals. You look like ruffians. Are you here to see the sheriff? Well, I'm first. I've been waiting here on tenterhooks for an hour. I. Forgive me. That was unkind. I am under considerable duress. My family has been kidnapped by those no-good Dorseys, and... And the Marshals will give me no answers about their situation. They won't even speak to me. I must know how the Sheriff intends to rescue them. And when. That may be, but my family is one of the leading families of Colorado Springs. Mm. We have been longtime allies of the Patriarch and supporters of all he stands for. Surely that should be given some consideration. Oh, surely. I... I... I suppose not. We are all equal in the eyes of God, as they say. <laughs> sure you are. I am just... frustrated. That is all. It doesn't seem that anything is being done. My name is Lucia Wesson, daughter of Percival Wesson and Maria Reyes of the Hundred Families. But now they and my little brother have been kidnapped by those good-for-nothing Dorseys and... and I fear for their lives. We are the founding families of Colorado Springs, descended from the survivalists who came together after the deluge of fire and helped the Patriarch build a stronger Colorado. 
I'm proud to trace my lineage back before the war on both sides of my family. Hmm. Someone let the Dorseys into town, and the savages have taken my family hostage, along with a good many others, and retreated to the Garden of the Gods. I came here to demand that Sheriff Daisy immediately mount an expedition to save them, but her marshals keep putting me off. No good traitors, that's what they are. Used to be hundred families, like us, but rotten. Backstabbers, every one of them. At least that's what my father says. They rebelled against the Patriarch before I was born, and were driven from the city. I was always told they were dead and gone. It seems I was misinformed. Well, you look capable enough, but I don't know you from Adam. Why, you might be robbers or bandits. No, thanks all the same, but I think I'll continue to wait on the proper authority. Sheriff Daisy, I will not leave until you speak to me. Miss West... Miss Wesson, could you... I'm sorry. I have to talk to these folks. Sorry about that. Are you... the Rangers? We were told to expect you. Sheriff Daisy is waiting for you in the back. Thanks, Torres. Anytime, Marshal Kwan. Reports. Lots of reports. The Dorsey raid really tore up the town. Murder, looting, fires... They even attacked this station. Not that they got very far. It's been... exhausting. Uh, why not a little one, don't you? <laughs> don't blink. It's on the back of the box. We keep the peace here in Colorado Springs. Mostly, though, thanks. If you've got any feedback, be sure to fill out a form. Well, now, you must be the Rangers. I'm the sheriff around here, but you can call me Daisy. Old Saul tells me you're a bunch of badasses, and I ain't one to turn away a badass, especially at a time like this. I reckon you already heard all about the Dorsey raid, so I won't bore you with the details. Suffice it to say, we whooped them good, and the survivors are holed up at the thing is, I lost a lot of marshals. My boys and girls are tired and beat up. You want to make some fast friends around here? You could go into the garden and speak to those Dorseys for us. Maybe find out how the hell they got into the city in the first place. And by speak, you mean shoot the everlasting shit out of them and save those hostages, right, boss? Quan, I hear you're some fancy liaison now. Old Saul taking my people without even asking? How dare he? Anyway, yes, you rascal. That's exactly what I mean. But question him first, you hear? Ma'am, yes, ma'am. That girl? You think I ain't heard her yapping? But I got a couple of fi- Tell you what, though. Her people are hundred family folks from the fancy side of town, so they got some pull. You can do me a big favor and kill two birds with one stone if you take- In fact, I'm gonna insist on it. I need that girl out of my hair. I'll let Lipinski know you're bringing her along. He won't let you into the garden without her. Don't- Go in there and kick some ass, Rangers. Well, all right. Hang on. Let's... Okay. 
Hmm. I'm not sure why the sheriff didn't assign me marshals, but, well, beggars can't be choosers. I am the Miss Wesson she spoke of. Lucia Wesson, daughter of Percival... As Sheriff Daisy Great. told you, they and some of our neighbors were taken hostage by the Dorseys. And I mean to... F it's a project of the Ward family. A showcase for their know-how. They grow food there using the latest technologies. Colorado Springs leads the world in science. Do they? <laughs> Okay. But there are plenty of places to hide in the garden. The Dorseys could be laying for us anywhere. We shall have to be cautious. Great. <sighs> Certainly. My father taught me to shoot almost before I could walk. And I'm the best shot in the city. Are you now? Are you now? Oh, it's true. She's a prodigy, all right. Also a pain in the ass. All right, Quan. Quan. I no. But I have hunted. Mm -hmm. There's no need to worry that I will be shy about pulling the trigger. I promise, strangers, if it is to save my family, I will not hesitate. At last. Hey, Rangers. Looks like that welcome party at the lake. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. We ain't gonna Murderers! pay for our lives. We ain't weak like you. Dozens killed by Dorsey thugs. Families taken hostage. No mercy on your souls, Colorado. Colorado. Dorsey, Dorsey, scum! Okay. How does it feel now? How does Brave it feel Marshall now? Marshal, stop Dorsey's at Palace Gates. Patriarch alive and safe. Murderers! Garden of the Gods is just north of Market Square. Marshal Lupinski should be out front. My store has everything you're looking for. Dive sardine league. Okay. Cash we got? Okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. 
Let's see. Oh, Road Warrior. Oh, man, let's, uh, that's dirt or berg. Okay, cool. as I'd love to shoot the shit with you tryhards. Sheriff Daisy said to let you go on in. So? Marshal Lupinski, I expect you to moderate your language. My apologies, Miss West. I meant no disrespect. Best of luck to you and your companions here. No room for amateurs in this town. You hear? No room. <laughs> I love the writing in this game. It's so good. Okay. Yes, we will travel to the Garden of the Gods. The Gods. You bunch of horrible some bitches. Talk to this chicken. 
Like it would sting. We'll just put our weapons down, okay? Nice and slow. Nobody pisses the guy off on the ledge, right? We'll go quiet. Just don't give us to the marshals. Did the Patriarch send you? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I need to warn you. The Dorseys are gathering up ahead between the Gateway Rocks. Bellamy! Bellamy, look at me! Have you seen my family? Lucia? I... I thought you were with your family. Oh, thank God you're not. Thank God. They went up ahead with their hostages, but... Lucia, I heard gunfire and screaming. If they've done anything to my people... I'll tell whatever I can to help. It's not much, but... My name is Bellamy Ward. I'm a scientist. I invented the solar collectors and experimental farms on top of... I was calibrating the solar array. They're savages. Animals. God, no, I was stalling for time. If I had a few hours in the right chemicals, though, I could have prepared quite a surprise for them. The PALs, photon amplification lenses. Normally, they maintain a stable temperature for the plants, but they can be adjusted to help power the solar. I once coupled a PAL with a dynamic cross photon matrix. I was trying to cook some bison steaks, but it, a while ago, we found some old non-functional solar. I couldn't figure out their function at first until I recovered a micro circuitry board and developed a laser spectrography process. I realized that I could help solve some of the electrical generation. I I think they took everyone to their camp. What about my family, Belle? Last I saw them, they were all right. They were scared and a little banged up, but they were still alive. You saved my life. I won't forget it. You better not. You better fucking not. Okay. He's got stuff up here. So. We take everything. That's great.
Hey, come on now. Don't. Damn it. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. This is Bellamy Ward, PAL operational test number, uh, 110. I have adjusted the angle of the solar collectors by 3.12 degrees to improve the energy transmission from the photonic amplification lenses. I've also attached a more sensitive voltmeter to the test panel, so I can hopefully get a more accurate reading of the conversion rate. Everything's set. Here we go. The photon amplification lenses are operating at 60% ambient light, approximately what we would expect on a typical day in Colorado Springs. Checking the voltmeter now. Yes, it's working. Energy storage is 12% above norm. This is better than I hoped. Now, if I can get the storage rate up to 25%, we'll have surplus power running into the batteries each day. For the first time since the deluge of fire, Colorado Springs will have all the electricity it needs. I can't wait to show this to Theo and Megan. They'll be so excited. What's the deal? What is that? Oh, requires power. Well, oh, requires power. Okay.
Oh, yeah. pretty good. Let's do this one. Okay, she's already got the auto chatty. Yeah, we really do. We need to work on getting uh, get some hats. up there, Jones. Thank <laughs> you. 
Get him, get him, get him, Tom. Ground control, bitch. Oh, damn, almost.
trouble. Here. Get him, Major Tom. Get him. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. use if I'm dead. Sack. Excellent. This is all good news. Ooh. No. Can't see a... I don't know if they're here or not. I can't... Come on. Let's find the monsters who did this. That... That was one of the Skylar girls, I think. Seems like we ought to leave her alone. Feels an awful lot like grave robbing.
Okay, let's see. Um, let's give this bastard some more luck, man. Submachine gun is not working for him, so My uncle helped me. That's not how Colorado Springs works, Mr. Kwan. That's how you work. Huh. I'm sure you know best. Agreed. On behalf of all of us here, I want to offer our unconditional surrender. As proof of our goodwill, I wanted to... Isaac, how could you? How could you throw in with these people? How could you let them take my family? Where are my parents and my little brother?
They're... They're in the grave you passed on the way here. They didn't suffer, Lucia. I, I promise. Baby, look. I didn't mean it to go this way. I, I tried to stop them. I... Stop talking right now. Not forgiveness. We want to face justice. Oh boy. We know what we did is wrong, but mm, justice. Mm. It was Neilius Dorsey. He went looking for your family, Lucia. Your family especially. That's why I got you out of your house before the raid. I didn't want anything to happen to you. You didn't want anything to happen to me? So you let savages abduct and murder my family. You knew what they meant to me. You knew what their loss would do to me. But you're still alive, Lucia. Don't you see? You're still alive, and that's what matters most to me. Farron Brygo's gang helped them get into town. I don't know how or why. Farron and Brigo. I overheard Neelius say something about Liberty Buchanan. The Patriarch's daughter. Oh. I think... I think she's going to attack Colorado Springs. It sounded like she's gathering an army out in the plains. Something way worse than the Dorseys. He escaped. He took some vehicles and headed west into the mountains. I don't oh, think he was boy. planning to come back. We've been under the Patriarch's boot for 50 years. We say that the hundred families are in charge, but it's really just his family. Just him. I know you must think I'm a fuzzy-headed idealist, but this society's sick. I have heard enough. If your betrayal of my family was not sufficient, your treachery here most certainly is. In the name of the Patriarch, I sentence you. Please, Lucia. I did this for you. All I ever meant was to help build a better world for you. For all of us. I can't tell you how much I regret. Please don't kill me. Please. Please, Lucia. I love you. Oh boy. Oh boy. <clears throat> now let's let's do this. Okay. All right. Please, Lucia. Please. Oh. trying to slaughter fucking everybody.
compromise agreed. On behalf of all of us here, I want to offer our unconditional surrender. As proof of our goodwill, I want to tell you that the culprits got into town with help from Farron Brigo's organization. Isaac, how could you? Stop talking right now. Not forgiveness. It was... You didn't... But you're still alive, Lucia. Don't you see? He escaped. He took some vehicles and had... We've been under the Patriarch's boot for Farron Brigo, I think. I have heard enough. Please, Lucia. I did this for you. All I ever meant was to help build a better world for you. For all of us. I can't tell you how much I regret. A better way? I can't think of one. Not after what he did to my family. You want to let him walk away from what he's done? I have justice right here in the palm of my hand. I am more than happy to meet it out. I would be delighted to be its instrument. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, don't thank me, kid. You're not gonna like where I send you. Come in November 1. This is Ranger HQ. We're getting reports of shooting in your last known location at Garden of the Gods. What's your status? Over. Yeah, because we know what they're going to do to him. You let Isaac live? After he gave aid and comfort to the enemies of the Patriarch? After he helped them kill my family? You let him live? Why arrest him when you killed all those others? What made him special?
I... I... <sighs> Maybe you have it right. If I value my own personal feelings above the law... <sighs> very well. I accept your decision to let him live. But the people who are truly responsible... Neil, will you help me find them? You can count on my guns every step of the way. Of course. We should go after Nelius Dorsey first. Isaac said... I don't think we're ready to face him yet, though. I thought she said she was gonna follow orders, not... For now, we should head back to the Sheriff. How's the family? Shut your hole. I know you slept with my wife. Hey, 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 slow down. I... I... City's really humming again, huh? Mm -hmm. All I did was ask a few questions. Is it just me, or are the marshals cracking down on folks harder than before the Dorsey's attack? Ixnay, I'm the Arshals man. Get your Colorado Patriot here! Hot off the press! Shut your fucking mouth. Either of you ever worry about people? Hell yeah! I've always got a smile for the marshals and never piss them off. I stay in line. Horrible way to go. Of course, if you're up there, you deserve it. Rangers, what brings you here? Indeed. <coughs> hey, um, are you, uh, you around here too? Yeah, I was just finishing up training when the Dorseys came through. What have I done? Didn't even know You're what to do. You're a worm, yeah, Isaac. Just, uh, I should have killed you. Street, put a badge on my chest and a gun in my hand. They yeah, said that a piece of shit. What a fucking... They must be desperate for bodies. But no offense. I like you already, Rangers. I asked for a favor, and you came through for me. Not only that, but you sent me Isaac Reed and his traitor friends, all cuffed up and looking pretty. It seems to me that if somebody commits Ooh. a crime in Colorado Springs, they should yeah, face baby. Colorado Springs justice. I'm glad we see eye to eye on that. Some of my marshals weren't so sure about you. Damn right. It's in all our interests to keep this city safe. Now, before I forget, let me introduce you to Hope Emerson. She heard all about you coming to town, and she wants to join up. Ooh. Ain't that right, Hope? Pleasure's mine, Rangers. Ran the lockup in a little town called Amity on Colorado's eastern border. Figured I could do the same thing for you at your HQ. Oh, hell Assuming yeah. Amity got flattened by the Scar Collectors a while back, so Hope came west. Been trying to get her to join the Marshals ever since, but she keeps turning me down flat. We uh, have some differences when it comes to crime and punishment. But that aside, she's smart, honorable, and she'd be an asset to your organization. Great. I'll head over to Ranger headquarters in a bit and start fixing up your brig. I can't think of a better way to serve than to ensure that our justice is fair, even to those who transgressed against it. So, back to business. Did you find out how the Dorseys got into town? Well, since you already dealt with Isaac, let's concentrate on Brago. 
I'll never understand why the Patriarch let that rat set up shop here. Been nothing but trouble, so him making a deal with the Darcys doesn't surprise me in the least. In fact, I had a hunch he might be involved, so I sent my best man over to his nightclub, the Little Vegas, to search for a connection. Haven't heard back from him, though, and I'm a little worried. Say, what if I asked you rangers to go to Little Vegas and check up on them? And if you happen to find proof that Brigo helped the Darcys while you're there, well, feel free to cuff the bastard and haul him in. Take down Brigo for me, and I'll make sure your HQ gets the best equipped armory this side of the Rockies. Guns, ammo, armor, the whole shebang. The marshal I sent to the Little Vegas is named Delgado. Family man and the best inspector I've got. Keep him safe and I'll owe you another favor. Always a pleasure, Rangers. This is uh, turning out very lucrative. <laughs> Let's see here, all right. Ooh, let's finish off that fucking charisma, guys. Booyaka. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I could. I could. See, why? Uh, 
going to make her Uh, let's make her a little tougher. All right, well, guys, for now, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. Everybody have a good morning. I'll be back later with some more Wasteland 3. I love you.